Hello, <clears throat> it's me, Recky. Welcome back for another freaky deaky reaction. The only uh, thing that's gonna be freaky is you listening to me, fat guy, breathing because I just ate too much. There's gonna be a lot of. Uh, uh, <clears throat> anyway, Nukes released a new video a couple of days ago, and I think it was five days ago, and I am all eyes and ears, of course. Love when new videos comes out on Nuke. If you haven't checked out the channel Nuke's Top 5 yet, you find the link for the video we're going to watch and of course for the channel located right down there in the description. So go there and give them the support they so much deserve. If you do enjoy the content you're currently watching, don't forget to smack the like and of course hit that subscribe. That's something I would greatly, greatly appreciate. Thank you for at least considering it. A big thank you to my channel members and my Patreon. Thank you so much for the amazing support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A big shout out to the Supreme Tier donators over by Patreon, of course, channel membership. Personal shout outs goes to the ultimate supporters Deja, Walt, Dwayne, Dana, Troy, Robert, Matt, Lon, and Barbara. Ah, that's a very nice list right there. Thank you for everyone who supports me. Thank you. Uh, the video we're going to watch is called the uh, 10 Scary Videos I Dare You to Watch Alone. There's no one here. Well, Carol's in the bedroom watching TV, so I'm not alone. And there's like three cats here somewhere too. And it's actually daylight now. Or is it? Is it the midnight sun in Sweden? No, it's just daylight. <laughs> Oh shit, that's completely wrong button. That's how we start everything. That's how we start everything. All right, let's do this. I'm not scared. A man from Medellin, Colombia is horrified when his cat starts behaving very strangely and appears to see something that he can't see. I saw it. I, I s Nieves. Dios mío, parece un... Nieves. Nieves, oye, ¿qué estás viendo? Nieves, nena. No, something you guys saw it. Is he not seeing the shadow that we are seeing? He's not seeing it through the camera. Oh, what? ¿Qué pasó? The cat is completely frozen and refuses to move, intently staring at something in the opposite room. The man nudges the cat, pets the cat, and even shakes her. But nothing will divert its intense stare. The cat, who is usually very affectionate, then becomes aggressive and just scratches him. The video has been shared and reposted to the internet countless Cats. They will attack if there's something happening that they are not accustomed to. It could be your body language. It could be anything like that. And this is actually freaking me out. I see a shadow. I'm pretty sure Nuke's going to say, oh, did you see it? Less times, and of course, without a source. Many concerned viewers believe the cat saw a spirit or an entity. And some say that they too see a shadow-like figure staring back at her but did you see it let me know yeah down in the comments i saw it hi joe red user kimberly can't fall asleep one night and decides to get up for a late night snack at 1 30 a.m except for her boyfriend and her female roommate jackie who are fast asleep in bed no one else is in the house so what happens next understandably scares the living shit out of her
Jackie. Hi. That sounds like Alexa. Was it Alexa? Alexa. That's what you get when you're a midnight snack. I wish Ghost would come to me and just steal the living shit out of me. So I stopped doing the, uh, the refrigerator raid at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. Hi! Kimberly jumps when a loud female voice can be heard saying, Hi, from the doorway right behind her. Oh, Jesus. Confused by the sound, Kimberly gets up half expecting her roommate Jackie to be standing there in the doorway. But there's no one there. Even stranger, Kimberly has two small dogs who will usually come running when they hear the rustling of food containers. But the little dogs stay far away and even seem a bit skittish. Kimberly says that her female roommate Jackie was fast asleep at the time. Wouldn't you, if, if you're a pet owner, wouldn't you notice if your dog or cat, like if I go to the kitchen nine or ten times more, my oldest cat, she will be there before me. And if she's not, I will actually go look for her. Is she dead? Where is she? That's how I roll. I don't know. Yeah, she, if I get up in the middle of the night to get a midnight snack or a 3 a.m. snack, whatever you want to call it, she's there. And that they have no Siri or Alexa app or other device that could have made the sound. Now, I have to say that Kimberly's frightened response is one of the most authentic reactions I've ever seen. She looks freaked out. Oh, oh Jesus! Toy Story. We were messing like around that. with my little sister's camera, and we just found something, like... Uh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Uh it's a normal Tuesday in October, around 6 p.m., when a young girl takes out her camera to record her new toy collection and talk about her day. What happens next is downright chilling. Shit. Shit. Fucking hey guys, dolls. today I'm going to show you my Skibbity toilet collection that I just got today. Um, we went to a toy store and they had all of these. The oh, hell is that? The cameraman, these tiny little action figures, the Skibbity toilet, and this one. And then. I saw my friend the other day and we went on a walk. I don't know what's going on, but that doll she has in her hand right now, that's worse than seeing a demon behind her, to be honest. I'm just saying. My friend the other day, and we went on a walk, and we also got ice cream that day, and I'm having a lot of fun. The little girl looks up and seems frozen in fear as she stares at something that we can't see. She stares motionless for over 20 seconds and then gets up and hurries out of the room. The camera continues to record and captures something that seems to follow her. Later, the little girl's older sister, Charity Lewis, is looking through the camera's footage and finds this strange recording completely by accident. Charity shares the clip on Instagram and says that before viewing this video, 
she had no idea that her little sister had experienced anything strange. Look at to this that. day. The... I'm sorry, Nuke. I'm sorry. Look at her face. Look at her face. There is terror in those eyes. And I just got another goosebump attack here. I could feel it in my plumps. Her little sister had experienced anything strange. To this day, the recording remains a mystery. Jesus. We need scary videos, so if you see a video online that you think is creepy, send it to nukestop5 at gmail.com. On the road, two men are driving home late at night in Pahang, Malaysia, when something happens that nearly runs them right off the road. Driving 70 miles per hour. Kilometer. <laughs> The driver manages to dodge the creepy stranger, but the two. What the, the driver manages to do dodge the, the creepy stranger, but the two guys have no idea who would be out walking in the middle of the road at 1:41 in the morning. First of all, it, it looked like he was hailing them like he was hailing a cab. When they review the footage, they are shocked to see that the figure appears to be pale and translucent and seems to disappear as they drive past. The two men start to wonder if they might have had an encounter with a sinister paranormal entity. Why maybe a spirit trying to make them crash. But is it a ghost or just some strange person in the road at 2 a.m.? It's Steve. I leave it's a weird that guy. up to you. It's definitely Steve. Strangers in the woods. Oh, dear Stealth boy. Camper Sam from the YouTube channel The Northwest Wind frequently sets up camp in public and somewhat odd places like Walmart, a public bathroom, a cemetery, and even behind his neighbor's shed. On one of Sam's stealth camping trips, he decides to set up uh. camp for the night in a wooded park just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. After setting up his tent for the night in the cold January temperatures, Sam starts to get a bit worried about his decision to stay there. Why? Oh, I'm just spooked. I haven't been saying that, but I've been spooked since I got here. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. Get out. And then seeing that person. I know it's a public park, but still. Get out. Then, as night falls, Sam's concerns turn into a real life nightmare. There's somebody. Hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. Sitting in the dark, Sam hears two people walking around outside his tent, and they're getting closer and closer. Hello? This Hello? Is, this is my nightmare. All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? Do you have your gun with you, dude? They're touching my tent. Hello? I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? Hello? I don't know what the f this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? Okay, they're walking away now. What do you want? What do you want? I have a knife. Where's the I, knife? I have a gun. Say something. I see you. They collapsed my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. Get out, dude. I think they went this way. I see you. Get away! All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on the wall. Getting out of here right now. They're just standing there. They're just standing there. What do you want? Leave me alone! They went over that way. I can't see them now. 
Call the cops! You're there, I see you! They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. It smells like someone's smoking a cigarette too. I smell your cigarette! I think I... All right, we're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna get out of here. I'll come back for this crap later. Do I have my phone? I'm gonna call. Stay away from me! They're coming behind me. I don't know what they're doing. They could just be around. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. They're at my campsite. I see them. I see you reflecting off my tent. Leave my alone! All right, I'm getting out of here. One of them's following me. One of them's. Okay, here's the trail of some kind. Ah! 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 I just ate. Shit. I just ate. Shit. I'm soaked. I'm toast. Okay. Oh, they're coming. Leave me alone! I'm about five minutes from the car now, but I'm in the big clearing off the path. I have the high ground, so to speak. I can see everything from behind me. I don't see anybody anymore. Can't hear anybody. If they were coming, I could see them for a ways now. Right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! I can see you! Oh, it's, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. All right, let's get the here. I don't know if they're like after me or something or what the happened. Oh my days. We're getting the here. It's getting bigger. They're coming this way. Holy I'm calling the police. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. All right. Lock my doors. What the fuck? What the f Sam attempts to communicate and even yells at the creepy strangers in the woods, but whoever it is doesn't say anything. Understandably, Sam is freaked out by the whole situation. Eventually, he just makes a run for it, leaving his camping gear behind. Luckily, Sam makes it back to his car safely. The next day, Sam returns to find his tent and belongings still there in the park. Nothing has been stolen or vandalized making the whole ordeal even more suspicious and truly disturbing. You can watch this entire creepy video over- I am pretty sure that guy was in total danger. I'm saying it. He was, I think. He was in total danger. And I'm really happy that he ran away instead of confronting them. Even though he had a knife. Which is- I, I wouldn't- I, w I wouldn't do this. Uh, and if you like me, say I. If you prefer a ghost, um, sassy ghost babies, shadow people, and demons before humans, say I. For on the YouTube channel, the Northwest Wind. Siren. Oh, Megan shit. Ann is on vacation in St. Petersburg, Florida, when she decides to do some late night fishing with a friend and record it for social media. But things start to get a little spooky. I was out here fishing and sirens came from this island. I swear to God, I have it on video. I'm gonna play it shortly. Did you catch like this? Okay. For real, my cast is in the god. And she's nothing on your hook. I have a worm. What the hell is that? Stop, there's no monkeys here. We're the only ones out here witnessing this in the entire world right now. Megan and her friend both. 
I don't understand. They they call this siren. Uh, I heard a screech though. Your bizarre screeching coming from somewhere out in the ocean. Megan thinks that she might have caught evidence of the existence of sirens, mythical creatures that lure their victims into the water to drown them. But yeah. her uh, those were bastards. Uh, they got the uh, you know men that want something. You know, you know uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Friend seems to think it's a monkey. Monkey. Now I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a monkey in the ocean. But what do you think it is? I have no idea. Down in the comments. A seal. <gasps> A birthday surprise. Oh. In this next clip, a family is celebrating their grandmother's birthday, recording a video as she's about to blow out the candle on her cake. Uh. But then this happens. <laughs> a bizarre shadow like figure seems to run behind the elderly woman at an inhumanly fast speed. Oh my. Unfortunately, the video was reposted to the internet without a source. But many concerned viewers believe the family captured a paranormal presence. Perhaps Damn. even a deceased family member watching over them as they celebrate. But what do you think this is? Oh, Let wow. But one thing, is, is it uh, behind grandma over there? Is there like a, a stairs? Because it's actually getting a small or like it's diving down behind. Uh, it looks kind of weird though. Animal instinct. Uh, Whitney works with horses at a large stable in Minnesota. She says that she's been experiencing odd and unexplained events at the stables for a long time and believes that the property might be haunted by some kind of presence. One day Whitney is outside taking the horses back to the barn when she notices that the animals are behaving very strangely, seemingly spooked by something in the field. Come up! No! What the f They can't see, though. You better get them going, then. Let's go! Casey! What the f are you guys staring at? I'm gonna be stuck here by myself. Well, okay then. What the f is that noise? Following the horses, Whitney hears a bizarre sound coming from somewhere nearby. Like a humming. Almost like someone moaning. <laughs> and then the horses get spooked again. What the f Oh shit. Oh shit. Nope, nope, nope. At first, Whitney is confused because the horses seem terrified and make a run for it. But then, she hears loud, unexplained banging coming from an empty grain silo nearby. Whitney is freaked out, and she just nopes her way <laughs> right out of there. Uh, when in doubt, nope your way out. I just got that. When in doubt, nope your way out. Hashtag Ricky. Trademark. Nope, 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 nope. The Night Visitor. Diane from Ventura County, California has a YouTube channel about growing and preserving food called Diane the Canning Nana. Oh, nice now name. she has never posted anything on her channel that is remotely related to the paranormal. But one morning around 2 a.m., Diane gets a motion alert on her security camera. When she checks the footage, she finds something truly creepy. Creepy. Jesus. Was that inside? While 
while everyone is fast asleep just after 2 a.m., the apparition of what Diane believes to be an older woman with long hair can be seen walking through her living room. Jesus. Even Diane's cat can be seen in the background fearfully looking towards the strange figure. Now, Diane says that she has felt a presence in her home for months, but this is the only time that she was able to capture it on camera. Yeah, Molotov but it. It gets even creepier because when the footage is brightened, we see that whoever or whatever this is just seems to disappear into thin air. Again, Diane has never posted anything paranormal other than this one video. Nice footage. Hidden. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film set out to investigate an old house in Agui, Japan. It is said that the house is haunted by the spirit of a young child. Shit. The two investigators are exploring the house when they find a hidden corridor. Oh shit. Oh, we got a sassy one in here. I can feel it in my. What the? Whatever what weird reason when the Japanese move out or something happened, they just leave everything right where they are. Like everything is right there. If I, if I just leave this apartment and go somewhere else, and well, I'm not gonna bring anything else with me, just myself and the clothes I have on. And now I'm in my new place and all the shit that I own is still in the house. So that's kind of weird. The hidden corridor leads to what appears to be a room where a sick child was kept. But... Did you see it? Yep. As Tomo and Hiro enter the creepy hidden room, someone can be seen peeking out from Oh my god, that's Steve. Behind a curtain, and then quickly ducking back out of sight. The two investigators have no idea what they just captured and just continue on with their investigation. I don't I don't fear uh this at all, because it's as per usual, is always the same faces. Well that was very racist, Rocky, but you know what I mean. Because every time you watch a Japanese ghost hunting video, there's always the same girl, basically. It, it might be just me, but I'm having... No, I'm going to say this is fake. Hiro decides to stay inside the house alone to see if the ghost that is said to haunt the property will make an appearance. After setting up his phone as a static camera in the other room, he sits alone in the house for 30 minutes. Despite a few strange noises, nothing really happens. But then Hiro goes to check his static camera. Mysteriously, Hero's phone has been knocked over and is no longer recording. When they review the phone's footage later, 
The Omagatoki team is shocked by what the phone camera captured. There's an ominous sound and a bizarre face. face appears right at the moment that the camera is knocked over. After reviewing their footage, Tomo and Hiro now believe that the old house is indeed haunted by some unknown entity. You can watch this entire creepy investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omega Toki Film. Oh, Thanks no. for watching, so follow me on social media for extra little bits and pieces here and there, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Well, I, I, no, I'm going to say no to the last one because I, I, don't, I don't feel that fear when it comes to those uh, videos. Uh, the one that creeped me the hell out was, of course, the girl in the uh, you know, hiding spot with the uh, you know, covers and pillows and stuff like that. That was actually scary. And the guy in the woods, because he was probably going to get uh, K-I-L-L-E-D in that position. I'm happy that he survived that ordeal. Uh, then again... I would never do that. I hate the woods, the forest, uh, especially at night, because there is uh, beings in there that want to nibble on Ricky's butt. <laughs> if you did enjoy this, don't forget to smack the like, and of course hit that subscribe, it's something I would greatly appreciate. And don't forget to check out Nook's Top 5 if you haven't already. High class channel. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ricky. You stay safe.